Hello, this is Jim Vitale from Columbia Gorge Community College Renewable Energy Technology Program. Okay, today we're going to discuss uh, in a little bit more detail the Ripple versus Look Ahead uh, adders. Uh, if you remember our last discussion with adders, I just said, okay, look heads, just look ahead. And I know that some of you guys out there in nerd land were just like, oh my gosh, tell me how, tell me how, tell me how. Okay, here it is. This is how it's done. Okay, so Ripple. Uh, we already talked about Ripple, Ripple, um, Ripple adders, basically where the, you know, this this guy, this guy's carry out is feeding this guy's carry in. And so that means this guy's sum and this guy's carry out can't be produced until this carry in uh, arrives. So we need to talk about basically, um, well, the effects of that is basically a propagation delay. You have this, uh, the first adder feeding the second stage is a delay, it feeds the third stage, which is a delay, and on and on and on. Basically, you get a cumulative delay. Just keep on adding, and the more and more bits you've got, the, the, the slower it's going to be. So how do we get around this? What we have is look ahead adders. When I talk about, I talked about it earlier, it's talking about this adder looking as what's coming in uh, prior to. Um, and basically what it may, what I was talking about is basically it anticipates the output carry of the previous stage. Uh, and basically, and it can generate and produce an, its own output carry by one of two methods. Uh, first is carry generation. So this is for look ahead. We already talked about Ripple. So look ahead. Basically, it's going to anticipate your output carry of your previous stage. And it's going to generate the output carry using carry generation. And carry propagation. Oops. <laughs> Let's try that again. Carry propagation, carry generation. So first off, carry generation. Uh, the carry out can be generated internally by the full adder. This occurs when A and B are both one. So that's basically carry generation. It's CG, the generated carry, is produced internally to this state. Let's talk about, we're talking about this adder. It's produced internally to that adder if A and B are both one. So what you get is A and B. That's internal to that adder stage. Okay, carry propagation, the propagated carry, is dependent upon the previous stage. Um, actually, here, excuse me, it's, uh, I'm jumping ahead of myself. Okay, carry propagation is generated also internally by that full adder, by that stage's full adder, when A or B are one, and it's it's going to have an effect on the, the ripple. You'll see in the end here. So basically, carry in is rippled to carry out if either A or B are one, so you can get, yeah, A or B already said it, A or B. So how do these two terms relate to the actual carry out? Well, carry out, which is the carry in for the next stage, so this guy right here, the carry out is going to be the carry generated, which is this guy right here, or it's going to be the carry propagated, which is that guy, and carry when carry in is equal to one. So basically, carry out is a one if it's generated internally, that guy, or if it's going to ripple through, and that ripple happens to be one. Dig it? So that's what a look ahead, that's the basics of a look ahead adder. And I'll show you how they're hooked up here. So remember, the carry out, it's dependent on generated internally, the propagation, and what's coming into it. So there's three things. Okay. So when you're going to hook it up here, let's uh, actually just go ahead and reuse this diagram right here. Okay. So this stage is output. The C out here is this stage's carry in. No big surprise there. Actually, I'm going to get rid of this for now, um, which is, I set it up properly, but yeah, you should know that that the first stage's carry in should be grounded, but I'm just going to remove that for a second. 
Okay, so this stage is carry out is the second stage is carry in. So according to our rules, which we had over here, so that C out for stage one is going to be equal to the carry generated by stage one or the carry propagated and the carry in of the first stage. No big, no big uh, jump right there. But now that carry out one is the carry in for two, dig? Okay, so now this one's carry out, stage two's, what is stage two's carry out? Well, stage two's carry out, C out two. So if we use the formula that we had earlier, so carry generated by stage two or carry propagated by stage two equal to the carry, excuse me, and the carry in of two, that's what your carry out for stage two is. But this guy right here could be 